boy. That is weird. Okay, so I've got to go and see if, um, pardon the change of, okay. So I may end up starting another broadcast. If I do, um, I'm not sure why I had an interruption in signal, but I'm showing no, uh, no viewers. That's not a, oh, there's a viewer. Excellent. Thanks for showing up. I wasn't sure if I actually had a, um, had a broadcast. The uh, sun is approaching from this vantage point. I won't be able to show it coming up out of the ocean because uh, that's not where it's going to appear from this location. I'm going to unpack some really important information, take us on in for a ride uh, to, the, uh, to the ocean, which is about seven miles that way. This is the North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. One of the reasons why I have people, I encourage people to hashtag my name is because, well, there's a lot of content there. So I'm gonna load us up and carry us on over. But what I wanted to show you too is the simplicity of reality exposing the global light. Where in the world could a wind chime hang anywhere upside down. Now on my uh, page right now and my liked video playlist, Nathan Roberts did an excellent job of putting together documents. That's why I want people to go here and to YouTube the truth, kind of like a, um, kind of like a proclamation of uh, Google it, YouTube it. It's kind of like the same thing. Artificial intelligence has been self-aware for a long time. How about that? Isn't that special? Yeah, it is. It is. It's deadly. It's killing people, just so you know. Oh, we can't see that so good. Let's get a little water out of the way. That's easy enough to do. I'm going to squeegee my side windows. I'll be right back. So apparently we're, um, I'm a, about a 210 pound guy, uh, depending on what day it is. And apparently we're about 70% water, which means that's about um, oh, somewhere around 20 gallons of water. The volume doesn't seem to match up. Watch what's coming. That's interesting. That's a bigger than normal boat in the neighborhood to be sure. Okay, so I've hashtagged some pretty powerful titles. And that's, of course, for a very important reason. I want people to be aware of the situation that we're in. And it's more than the shape of the earth. Like people a lot of times say, eh, what, what the F does the shape of the earth matter anyway, you stupid flat earthers? Well, they're lying but not always. That's what makes deception so powerful. I've got the clear globe filled with helium. Interesting, isn't it? So the, the intellectuals that believe they can actually live on one of these with people upside down from in relationship to one another, well, I'm sorry, but that's even more ridiculous than Santa Claus and flying reindeer. That's why I had the Santa hat at the Flat Earth Conference. Oh, yeah. Well, I am a bit um, unconventional, let's say. I don't mind that. And that's probably one of the reasons why I'm between 30 and 40 million views on the Internet.
It's a naturally aspirated V8. I can drive really fast, but I prefer going the speed limit. And the reason being is it reduces stress. There's neurochemicals, brain chemicals that are continually being released in our, in our body when we do things. All right. See the strips of uh, visibility in the back window? Well, there's a temperature differential because of an electrical current generated by my alternator stored in my battery and dispersed there. I've also got a solar panel in the back window charging an inverter that I can run my refrigerator on. I'm a bit of a MacGyver. I've got a MacGyver as in I improvise. I'll improvise on the internet too. I'll drop in on some of the Science Channel videos and I'll hashtag Robert Force. They don't know what the heck that is. They see truth, uh, but who's Robert Force? Who is Robert Force? Well, go ahead and click on it. I'm a 57-year-old guy that looks a lot younger than I am because I'm taking good care of my body. I'm bathing in drinking water, eating healthy nutrients, drinking water that I generate in my own uh, uh, laundry room, reverse osmosis, carbon filtered. I'll add a quarter cup of uh, coconut oil and uh, a cup of baking soda and magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt if I want. If I uh, put the Epsom salt in, I can water my plants with it. If I water them with baking soda water, it'll kill them. It's very simple. If I've got a little manscaping I wanna do, uh, like uh, any kind of a fungus, jock itch or athlete's foot, um, the baking soda kills it. And for women with yeast infections, yeah, that's right, that happens too. As human beings, we have, um, we're somewhat decaying. Uh, and, and so what can happen is by exfoliating, getting the dead skin off, our uh, skin breathes better. When I wring the water off of me, when I'm done bathing, I may lose another three pounds. Take a look at what's in the, uh, what's in your rear view mirror. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Horry County uh, Police. Now, I think it would be just a spectacular idea to drop it down to 40, as now that's what the speed limit is here. Okay, so, People understand when there's a police officer around why I would go the speed limit, okay? I'm looking a little further down the road because I don't need a $300 reminder to do that. Hello. <laughs> I, I would rather be arriving in a different location for the sunrise than to have an unpleasant interaction and a monetary reminder of my disobedience to the system. All right. So I cover a lot of stuff. I, I cover enough stuff that if you kind of like the way I do this, there's plenty of sound bites to work with. There's a concave mirror, and there's the Bridgewater. Uh, beautiful development, and uh, it's a planned community. This whole thing is a planned community. The world we live in is basically a, a planned community. Well, I had my my light on, dropping my battery. So we're approaching the, um, the Intracoastal Waterway. Where I live, the driveway I just drove off of, Joni and I are still together, temporarily, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, um, this, this is the Intracoastal Waterway. Um, and you can see where that is on the on the map. It's the furth furthest north end of South Carolina, where it meets the ocean. Okay, so sometimes when we're not afraid to tell the truth, people are going to lose their their wives, maybe their lives, maybe their husband. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people have died telling the truth. That's the way it happens, sometimes. There's the sun, apparently in the clouds. And as weird as it may sound, that's where uh, Job 37 puts it. And I've got a lot of powerful content to back that up. Okay, I, this isn't my first outing. I've done this a lot. I'm doing Facebook because it notifies 
potentially 2 billion people. I've got a message to tell you. NASA lies, not always. The governments of the world lie. We get that, we get that. But they're not gonna lie about the shape of the earth, are they? Really? So what about Anonymous? I featured some of their videos, dropped in on their, I just put sharing and then I hashtagged or I copied and pasted the link of my liked videos that this will be on there. And I am i don't know if they're uninformed and they don't know, but as edgy as the group Anonymous is, to not know that we're not on a globe is at this point in the, in the game is absurd. Okay, Ray Kurzweil, you, have you heard of him? Nick Bostrom, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Michio Kaku. Um, there's a lot of people, uh, how about Steve Jobs? How about Jeff uh, uh, from Amazon? How about these different people? Mark Zuckerberg, uh, toss a few names out. How about, how about the alphabet agencies, DARPA, the CIA? What about that? What about that? It's a it's a cybernetic collective that's being creative. If you created and and has been, maybe you want to look up some words. Uh, cybernetics, as in we're being merged with uh, man and machine. We are to a certain extent somewhat like cyborgs. We use our devices. What this does is hello. I got a message. I want to tell the world I'm using the uh, very system I'm exposing. That's what I'm doing. So my friend Nathan, friend and brother in Christ, and brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world have compiled videos that are on my liked video playlist. That's why I want you to hashtag Robert Forsh because it'll show you that. I don't know um, in, in the truth movement, and I believe there's ultimately one, and I believe there's ultimately the most important truth, and that's the truth of the need to be born again, okay? And God's Word tells us what that looks like when that has or has not happened in the life of the individual. That's why I'm so big about sharing God's Word to the ends of the earth around the clock. That's why I came into this is because I believe it's the truth. I'm exposing the deeds of darkness and proclaiming the gospel. That's the intracoastal waterway. I've got a lot of video from there. That's where I'm on my way over to right now. Water tower in the middle of the view, way down at the end. You can't see it, but that's where the point is, out in Cherry Grove. And the one up in the left has, uh, it's getting rigged with a lot of electronics. Certainly uh, some 5G rigging will go there. And then there's the uh, temporary cell tower to the left of it. I'm not all freaked out about it, can't stop it. I'll use the heck out of it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leverage every bit of technology I can live. I don't have a manila envelope that somebody is gonna pass on in case something happens to me. Something already did happen to me. I was born again, given the power of the Holy Spirit living in and through me. I'll do what he wants me to do and everybody else can just deal with it. Isn't that special? It is because it means I'm not gonna be pushed around and manipulated by a system of this world that's corrupt. I would rather be led by God who gave me a passion, purpose, an eternal perspective and the power to do what I previously could not do and the pleasure to enjoy it all. That's what's really special. I'm about to jump out of this car and activate the P1000 and rig it up on the top of my, um, and rig this phone up on the top of that right now. All the shiny puddles in the middle are a reminder that undisturbed water is flat and level. Isn't that special? That's the reality of it. When reality indicates that the official narrative is deceptive, who are you going to trust? God or NASA, the governments of this world? They're lying, I ain't buying. Kind of put off about it, all the lying. 
So this is the rig. This is what it looks like. That's the P1000. I know I can uh, go live with it now. This is Robert Forsh with the YouTube channel Truth. I've just activated the P1000, showing you a beautiful sunrise. And yes, the government admits the earth is flat. The governments of the world. It's not just NASA, it's all the different uh, divisions of the military. I'm gonna throw it up on here. Oh, you can't see that, now you can. Gentle breeze of about five miles an hour coming out of um, the southwest right now. I want to rig up my, um, let's see, a couple of things. My jug. Okay. I wanted to give it enough time to stop moving. More on that later. Wow. Okay, here we go. I'm zooming in right now. If you're not seeing that, it means you're watching the live broadcast. Clouds clearly behind the sun. Whether you like it or not, or agree with it. It's not stupid. It's biblical. It's reality. I've got video evidence of it, not Photoshop. I had a friend uh, last night comment on one of my videos. He said, "This is the reason you're the reason showing the sun and the clouds video that I came to believe we're not on a globe." Nice, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, that's one of the funny things about this is uh, just reality indicates we're not on a on a globe. How in the world could anybody live upside down? And boy, it sure is nice that toilet water isn't flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. That's what it does. Wow, that was weird. Uh-oh. Looks like something went wrong with my... There we go. I'm back now. Sorry about that. <clears throat> So I've got to drop the um, tripod to bring this on in. Because I've got two devices, I can't uh, show the uh, symmetry simultaneously on both. But undisturbed water is flat and level and that's that. It's just the way it is. There would be no level anywhere in a world where the, uh, if we were moving. Just think about it. A bubble level, a spirit level. I'm zooming in on a shiny spot right in the middle of the view. where the light beam is shooting across. The sun, moon, and stars move above the stationary Earth. So do the planes, airplanes, flying over a level plane. Imagine an SR-71 flying over 2,000 miles an hour, not having to account for any supposed freaking rotation of the Earth that's never, ever been proven. Yeah, how about that? And no supposed curvature either. Eight inches per mile squared, earthcurvature.com. Copy and paste your link of where you can find the curvature if you can. Does water curve? Absolutely. It fills its container. I just showed you that with my bottle. However, the surface of undisturbed water is flat and level. It's pretty unpopular with some that want to believe the lie. Of course, I just prefer the truth, and everybody else can just deal with that. And yes, the chemical straitjacket is off. That means I'm not drugged by uh, chemicals. I just prefer 
healthy nutrients as best I can and a perpetual detoxing in the water I previously mentioned on the live broadcast. If you're watching the, the view where I'm zooming in and out, that means that you can go back and see the, um, uh, the live drive on in show the uh, the tw or the the drive in sometimes I start out when it's um, when it's dark to show you the transition from uh, dark to light uh, from this vantage point right here let me show you the uh, Prince resort right over in the middle of the view The open ocean and the Cherry Grove Pier are straight out from here. I'm going to walk us on out a little bit and, and try and hold the, um, the view on the sun somewhat in the middle. Let me make a different grab here. I think that should do it. And then one of the things to note is just how the sun follows the eyes of the observers, which is all of us, and how the reflections change. So the tide is going out right now. There's a, a diurnal tide here, high and low, twice a day. Normally four to six feet. When we had Hurricane Matthew, a modified storm, weather wars, hashtag it if you want, water went over the top of this railing. That's why the buildings all around here, most of them are on stilts. Some stilts are better than others. Steel reinforced concrete rocks, pun intended. So a uh, 3D panel is steel reinforced shot created panel construction. That's what they build cell tower substations out of for AT&T. I went to the factory, <clears throat> EVG out of Austria made that uh, machine, millions of dollars. Oop, I gotta zoom in and shut my donut hole for a moment. moment. I could see the lighting dim. It means it's entering the clouds. Wow. There it is again. One of the reasons why I was the guy that was able to capture a video that was seen probably over three quarters of a million times now is that I spent thousands of hours doing this a year for four years. Hashtag local sun. You can break into that playlist right now if you want. In God's word in Joshua 10, God stopped the sun from moving. Yeah, because he knew the earth wasn't spinning. And the, uh, and the people that transcribed the Bible were doing it for one author, the creator of this world. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 says to everybody forever, they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So it's beyond a satanic deception. God will use that even. 
He uses everything. Satan has limited access. He, he'll use who and what he can. God has full access. He uses it all. Does he just wait until you slip your hand up and decide you want to be a child of God? You either are a child of God or you're not. There was a bit of a delay in the activation for me. I was a child of God before the foundation of the world, as well as everybody who's going to be born again. You won't even see the kingdom of heaven unless you're born again. If you've got concerns with my theological proclamations, you can reach out anytime you like. And don't mind, you can call me. You can send me a, a self-addressed stamped envelope and I'll send you stickers if you want. For gosh sakes, you can hashtag my name right now and see what I'm about or share it with others or YouTube Truth. A lot of the censorship of uh, YouTube can be circumvented by just hashtagging my name go into my channel because I've been a busy little beaver hanging that all over the place for years. My uh, playlist zoomed in on the flat water, the rippled water. Uh, even the rippled water is flat. You can see that in the middle of the view, uh, not, as, not as clearly on the live broadcast, but it's there. All that symmetry is there. The sun is local and small. We can't see the other continents because of moisture. Okay, we've got the brightest light in the sky being obscured by those clouds right there. I showed you how thin they were. You can just zoom back and forth and go, yep, Robert's right, they're pretty thin. Yeah, yeah, it'll burn the, and, and yet when it's clear and close it'll, and high in the sky, person can get a sunburn, I have. How about that? One of the things that I do to uh, offset being around the sun and the salt so much is the coconut oil. It's on my skin. When I wring the, uh, when I dry off and I use a hair dryer, it's not just for my hair, it's for my skin too. I wanna, I wanna be fully dry when I get out. Like I said, I, I will lose um, anywhere from seven to 10 pounds in a therapeutic soak. Oh, I don't have time for that. Well, I do, I do. Instead of sleeping and watching mindless television, I can even watch something on the TV in my bathroom. I can watch the YouTube videos that I find and share and like. That's what I do. I've got a lot of plants in the house to add oxygen. That's one of the practical solutions to chemtrailing or weather modification, weather wars. I'm not smoking anymore, that's special. I used to smoke cigarettes in the shower and drink vodka for breakfast. And then when I thought marijuana was the answer, I would be a wake and baker. Oh, I gotta get up and go to the bathroom and smoke some weed. How about that? Well, I don't need that anymore, I never did. Now that I'm actually born again, I'm not homicidal or suicidal. Isn't that special? The chemical straitjacket's off, baby. I'm saying that for my uh, P1000 recording as well. The system of control wants to uh, close the institutions, which they have largely, and just drug everybody. So Anonymous, who I'm outing as not telling the truth about the globe, um, had videos where they're showing Jersey, New Jersey, has a lot of drugs in the water. You can see it. It's 15, around a 15-minute video on my liked videos. Next to it, I've got a, another documentary called The Great Culling, I believe it is. Fluoridation of the water. It's one of the most toxic chemicals in, in the world, and it's legal, and it's being put in the food, and wa or in the water especially. So I had a 210-pound really healthy guy with a lot of lean muscle mass and a little extra padding for a potential supply interruption. Supposedly, I would be like about 21 gallons, 21 to 25 gallons of water. That volume doesn't even add up. I don't know. I don't know how much water I actually am. But I want it to be uh, pure, so reverse osmosis, carbon filtered, and... I like to solar activate it for the drinking part of it. 
Once again, really good sun in the clouds video. I'm zoomed in tight to show how that, and I, I back out a little bit so you can see how the change is. It's not really a spoiler alert. I just want to let you see how it works. Sometimes I don't talk at all on my videos. If you don't like what I'm saying right now, you can, I don't mind if you use the clip. I would just appreciate uh, putting, if you put my name in it, that'd be great. I want people to come, come on back to my channel and to see why I do this. I do this because three people per second no longer have their human experience and I'm constrained by God to do what he created me to do. The dopamine, uh, they call it dope uh, because it activates the dopamine receptor, which is never satisfied. Never, ever. Uh, philanthropy can activate the dopamine receptor. Sex, food, um, a childbirth, watching uh, a heartwarming story, all can activate the dopamine receptor. It's never satisfied. It can feel good, though. So what I would say is truly God satisfies. I call him Jesus. His Hebrew reference is Yeshua. You can call him Yahweh, the Alpha and Omega, the great I Am. So artificial intelligence, well, that's partial knowing. Omniscience is all knowing. It's one of the attributes of God. How about that? All-knowing. How about we add to all-knowing, all-powerful? Oh, yeah. You think he's going to wait to see if, his, if people are going to just be so excited that he provided a way for salvation? Humanity won't even see it. They won't even see it. They can't see it. A veil has to be removed. So congratulations if you've become hip to the kaleidoscope of conspiracies. You still got to be born again. Well, there's never been a conspiracy. I've seen one sound by two kids stealing a bicycle is a conspiracy. What is it? What, what do you call it when artificial intelligence highbacks, hijacks the collective consciousness of humanity, giving a false reality that'll end them in hell? The great news is all of God's children will absolutely be born of his spirit. It's the doctrine of election. <clears throat> so there's the doctrine of the shape of the earth. Uh, Nathan Roberts did an excellent uh, job of authoring that. It's on my liked videos. His, uh, uh, the most recent video at the top of my, or close to the top of my list. What I, it's, uh, it's about government admits, and I hashtag the title, government admits flat earth. He, he even mentioned, go to doc, uh, earth, uh, flatearthdoctrine.com and get your mailing uh, address there, email, if you want. Is he going to get shut down? Could be. Could I? Heck yeah. Only if God allows it. So I'm going to show you some texture. Right now I can't uh, really see the sun very much. I've seen a woman um, up to her waist in mud. Her husband had to come and pull her out. This mud right down here is real soft. The sandbar up there has some uh, stability to it. It's not all slimy. We're looking at um, uh, the uh, Russell R. Burgess Coastal Preserve. I've got video where the water is halfway up the stairs. A storm surge is because water is moving, or wind is moving the water up higher. That's the way it works. The water down here that we're looking at, I'm going to try and show you with both cameras, but it's tough. Um, flat and level. All the puddles. That's why I'll show urban displays of uh, driving around in the rain and talking about it. We got rainfall. We don't have rain falling upside down in relationship to other rain. That's not possible. How much does a gallon of water weigh? Do you know? It depends on the temperature. The temperature changes the density and volume of water. If some people say I need to learn science. Are you kidding me? 
I don't have my head up my arse uh, loaded with a whole bunch of indoctrination. That's one of the things. I, um, I'm very, you know, decisive in talking about what I know about. There's things that we can know and then things that we have to believe because knowing is not possible. Like I told Logan Paul, I still don't know what you had for breakfast before you came here. How can I know how long the universe has been in existence? Yeah, he made fun of me. Oh, well, at, at the 26-minute mark of the Logan Paul mockumentary. Uh, PewDiePie made fun of me for about a third of his first Flat Earth video. Excellent. Water seeks level. That doesn't make any sense. And then he shows the largest wave ever captured out in the open ocean. Yeah. Australia, are you okay? Australia? Yeah. The funny thing about that video is that the day that it came out, I was thinking about drinking water upside down on my way to the sunrise. I had never even thought about it before uh, for the purpose of demonstrating anything. It, it demonstrates that we can drink water upside down. That's what it demonstrates. But it certainly, uh, some people use the spin of their toilet as uh, evidence that we're on a spinning globe. Dang. Now, I've got a... I've got whirlpools. I'm going to zoom in on the water coming out of the uh, culverts where I show uh, two whirlpools spinning in concentric op opposing directions right there. Of course, that's not going to happen now because the water is going out, out and down. I'm going to zoom in on the uh, water bottle on the jug. Can you see it? Let me do it. Let me show you. See, the car is tipped a little, but the water is flat. That's that. Corpuscular rays, the angled uh, rays from the sun shooting through the clouds. Uh, my photo album on Facebook. That's why I hashtag my name. You can go to my Facebook page and see mind-blowing photos. Not only do I have those, I've got probably now about 12 terabytes of data. For you tech people, that's, you can maybe understand that's a lot of data. And it's video, mostly video and a lot of photos. Millions and millions of photos. Well, it takes thousands and thousands of hours of work to do it. A lot of days I've shot thousands of photos and I've been doing it for years, four years. That's thousands of days and thousands of shots. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a bit. Crepuscular rays, angled rays going up to the focal point of the sun that's in the clouds as Job 37 talks about. That buzzing sound that I heard uh, um, um, changed my focus on my camera. That was weird. It was like a bee buzzing by me. So we can't see through much water when it's foggy. Uh, take a look at it. See what it does. The direction of the sun shooting down on the water is different than shooting at the camera. That's one of the reasons why the reflect why it looks different. Uh, the uh, the size of the reflection sometimes is smaller in the water than it is shooting at the eye of the camera. I talk about some of this stuff. I I have a lot of time to think about what I do and. That's one of the reasons why I'm able to tell you about it. Now we can see the, the bright uh, reflecting off of the, off of the house, but because the water is out, we can't see the reflection, or can we? Yeah, we can. Zoomed in close, it's in every little puddle. It's just the way that it does it. I'm a few minutes from the end of my first P1000 recording, and I'm going to um, wanting to, 
wanting to highlight a little bit and then I'm gonna uh, take us for a drive probably to the open ocean. I'll probably start another video too. The uh, sun appearing in the clouds happens more when it's low on the horizon based on the eye of the observer. I recently shared a video where um, the sun appeared to be beneath the clouds from the view of an aircraft uh, flying over Hawaii. It's on ABC News. It's on my Facebook page. If you don't have a Facebook account, bummer. Um, I'm not going to update you on what I had for breakfast, or will I? Yeah, probably, but it's going to be highly nutritious, liquefied spinach, kale, chia seed, hemp hearts, apple cider vinegar, mixed berries, bananas, and anything else I want to throw in there. Because the neurotransmitters that the brain operates on are uh, generated in the gut, the second brain as some neuro uh, specialists, neuro doctors, neuroscience. There's neuroplasticity, the renewing of the mind, as scripture talks about it. God's word renews the mind. He renews the heart. Oh, Ray Kurzweil said, yeah, one day um, AI will be self-aware and have emotions. Oh, okay, so we've got a real powerful uh, technology that doesn't need a kill call uh, to dispatch death on humanity with directed energy weapons and 5G and modifying uh, the weather and creating floods and earthquakes. And yeah, one day it's going to grow up and get emotion. Isn't that special? I take it it's already got plenty of emotion, just a hatred for God's children. And God will use that anyway. He'll use it anyway. How about that? So my liked videos cover a lot, intentionally to be food for thought. I want you to think. I want you to see it. I want you to look at it. Because it matters for eternity. Where will you spend it and why? If you're a child of God, <clears throat> you'll definitely be born again. If you're not, you won't even care about it. So... There you have it. I believe what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and cut this. This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth. Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. My phone number is 1-843-504-1776. If you want to send a self-addressed stamped envelope, it would be to 169 Cloverleaf Drive, Long, South Carolina, Two nine five six eight, and I'll send you some stickers if you want. Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement.